Hey everybody, this is VBlue42 from KenwoodForums.com. Um, had some questions or some comments on the forum um, over the last several months, actually, about you know, can you view YouTube from an iPhone uh, on the head unit uh, through the iPod cable, uh, like you can uh, any other movies and stuff like that from within your iPod app on your iPhone. Um, and the question is, yes, you can. Uh, there's a little bit of a process to it. Um, so, you know, I've, I've answered several threads on that, um, and I decided today, instead of having to go through and write that every time somebody asks, because uh, there's no other information out there on it, uh, to go ahead and do a demo video and post it on the forum. So I'm going to do that here. Uh, as you can see, I've got the head unit up, and I'm on my iPod source here. So the first step is you're going to go to video, okay? You have to make sure you have at least one video on your iPhone to be able to do this, all right? I'm going to go into music videos. Turn this down a little bit so you can hear me once it plays. Okay, and I'm going to pick, uh, let's see, an Apocalyptica video here featuring chords from Slipknot. Okay, as you can see, the video is playing. All right, now what I'm going to do is go right into the YouTube app. Okay, you can pause your video if you want by touching the touch screen and all that, but it's not necessary. And I've got a video here. Let it load up and it will take over the input of the video playing on the screen. Here it goes. Alright, now that's playing from YouTube on the iPhone. This is Motley Crue. Um, without you, this little video collage I just dug up on YouTube. Alright, so now we've done that. <clears throat> Go ahead and close out of YouTube. Okay. Um, let's say I want to view a video that I recorded on the phone. Okay, I'm going to go into my camera roll, and I did this quick demonstration video here just a second ago uh, for this video. Okay. Let me push the play button here. How about that? There we go. Okay, this is an HD video, 720p, that I recorded on the iPhone 4. Actually, it looks pretty damn good on this screen, I have to say. All right, so we've done that. Now, um, to get back, you go ahead and close out your other video apps that are running. Incidentally, let me show you something else real quick before we go to the next step. I've got YouTube HD on here. That's just a web clip, okay? You go to the... YouTube site from your Safari browser and it'll ask you to go ahead and save it as a, as a web clip. Uh, I'm going to open that up. Okay. Now, this is in the Safari browser right here. Okay. And I'm going to pick this iJustine video here real quick. And I'm going to push play and you will see it will actually play on the head unit. As soon as it loads up. I've only got one bar of 3G right now, so I don't know how that's going to go. Come on, you. And you see your HQ button here for higher quality. Let's try it for video. Let's try another iJustine video. Okay, here we go. 
All right, so there you go. That's enough of that. Uh, and that's actually playing from the Safari browser, YouTube.com. Um, so that's interesting as well. All right. Um, now, just so everybody knows and understands how this works, I've got other video apps here. I've got TV.com, Trivio, VSnacks, Juice, Netflix. These are all App Store apps, uh, non-Apple branded apps. Okay. It's important to understand that the TV out extension on the iPhone only supports Apple released apps, which at this point is only YouTube. Okay, it will not support any other um, App Store released apps from third parties. Okay, and the reason for that is, is under Apple's developer agreement, the the TV ad extension on the phone uh, will only support Apple released apps. Um, now, if you have a jailbroken iPhone, there are third party TV extension apps. Uh, TV Out to Mirror to is the one that I use, um, which will allow you to use all these other video apps, these App Store video apps, to display on the screen. Uh, I'm not going to demo that here for you. Uh, it will also show your your home screen on the screen, your Safari browser, all that kind of good stuff. So again, that does take a jailbroken iPhone. Uh, you can Google Apple jailbreak. If you want to know more about jailbreaking, don't send me a lot of messages asking me about that because I'm not going to go over jailbreaking. Uh, that's a totally different forum and uh, and uh, internet world and there's plenty of information out there for that all right getting back to this now it, to get back to the video uh, on the phone it's a little unintuitive okay um, this is the way it has to be so you know I'm gonna show that to you here just hit your source button reselect the video that you had playing and you will get it again otherwise the audio will play if you just hit if you just hit play pause on the screen the audio will play but you won't get the image back whenever you switch to a different video source it takes over and won't give it back to you until you go back and reselect the video from the touch screen all right i hope this has been a tremendous help if you guys got any questions uh pertaining to this uh feel free to post on the forum um this demo video will be uh, up shortly thanks for watching